it was how to hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and for those of you who are new i am shannon i am your fitness soul sister today's video we are going to talk about 10 ways to get started with your workout routine and or how to get back on track with your workout routine so let's dive right in let's not waste any time i want to give you guys the juicy news. number one when getting started i always recommend and have always implemented this with all of my clients in the past is to start with two to three days a week workout why this allows your body to ease into everything and get used to all these movements because if you just dive right in and do five to six days a week of training you're going to burn out create injury and you're not going to want to go back sister friend i'm telling you so doing two to three workouts a week is perfect number two when you do work out work out your whole body what do i mean by this do full body weight movements when you go to the gym two to three times a week so if you're doing tuesdays and thursdays or monday wednesday friday do a full body workout why do we want to do because we want to build a strong foundation that knows how to properly work together you haven't been to the gym in a while or you're just starting out right your body doesn't know how to you know correlate quickly so warming up and doing all these full body exercises allows you to train the mind to muscle connection and know how to work together number three work bigger muscle groups to smaller muscle groups why because bigger muscle groups utilize more energy this can also be known as complex or compound exercises before simple isolation exercise. So compound exercises are multi-joint movements, meaning you're utilizing different muscle groups and different joints in that one exercise, such as lunges, squats, Romanian deadlifts, right? You're utilizing more and your body utilizes more energy for those exercises. Whereas just doing a simple bicep curl or a tricep kickback doesn't need as much energy from you so save those smaller simple isolation exercises for the end of the workout okay so we're going to start out with bigger muscle groups slash compound smaller muscle groups slash isolation okay number four make sure to warm up i know this is probably said in almost every video but it is so essential whether you are a beginner or an experienced athlete every single one of us needs to warm up the muscle tissue first when we do this it allows the blood and oxygen flow to get to the muscle and also the muscle tissue makes it more flexible so we can have more range of motion to get the full benefit of each exercise tip five this is going to be split and two if you're doing workouts at home make sure that you are creating a workout space for you so get that set up and prepared when you have a space and it's already set up you are more likely to make sure that you're getting your workouts consistently right because if you don't have a space to work out you're always gonna have an excuse that I didn't have room, I didn't have time to create space, uh, I have so much clutter or the kids or the this or the that. Make sure prior to getting into a workout regimen that you have a space in the corner or in your room, home, office. That is just your little nook where you have your yoga mat, a few light weights or bands, anything where it's gonna be your own area serene fitness routine space i promise you having that will ensure that you get in a workout consistent 
for those of you who are going to the gym, I highly recommend going and getting familiar with the layout of the facility. You will become more comfortable just by doing that. You don't want to walk into a space of the unknown, right? So go in there, whether it's with a friend or ask a staff member to show you around, show you where the free weights are, where the ab location is, where the classes will be, where the equipment is and how it's laid out on the floor, the back machines, the leg machines, okay, know where the, where the locker rooms and the bathrooms are. Get an idea of where, of scouting out the place because that will allow you to become more comfortable and confident. Wear comfortable clothes that you feel good in. Yes, I cannot say it enough. If you don't feel good in what you're in, you're going to put out an energy and you're just gonna look uncomfortable, right? You know when you're wearing something and then you can just tell on somebody's face that they're not comfortable with what's going on? You're already new or going back to the gym. The last thing you want is more eyes on you because you're like timid and just you feel uncomfortable, okay? So first and foremost, make sure you have clothing that you feel good in. And comfortable clothes look different to everyone, right? So you may feel comfortable in a t-shirt and yoga pants, or you may want a matching outfit, right? Or you may want something with long sleeves and shorts. Think about the fact that you are going to be working out and sweating a little, right? So you don't want to wear clothes that you're going to get overheated in or wear clothes if you do a certain exercise you're going to feel like uncomfortable in. So just think about those things prior to going to the gym because a lot of us don't. I remember when I first started going to the gym, you don't always think about what you're wearing until you're there and you're about to do an exercise and you're like, oh God, what was I thinking wearing these shorts today? You know, so just be cognizant of that and do stuff that's going to make you feel good because when you feel good, you put out that energy and your head is high and you feel more confident. The next accessory that is a must have are headphones. Yes, 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 yes. Why are they so important? One, because music sets the tone for how you think, you carry yourself, the vibe you put out, your energy, right? So if you have the right music going and flowing during your workouts and you're just like feeling it, mm, 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 you're more likely to have a good workout and enjoy yourself. Let's, at the end of the day, realize we're working out, we're losing weight, we wanna feel good, we wanna have fun, okay? We don't wanna go in there having to listen to other people's conversations or people grunting or breathing heavy or whatever, right? We wanna go in there kind of in our own world. So bring your own tunes, make your own vibe, Get it, sister. Trust me, you will thank me. You will thank this me. This is obvious, but some people don't realize that when you start working out, you need to stay even more hydrated. Yes, you are sweating. You need to, and your electrolytes, and you're peeing out more salt. You need to replenish your body with hydration. Yes, hydrate your body, your cells your muscles. Otherwise, you will feel sore, more likely to injure yourself. Dehydration can put you in the hospital and you will not be working out, okay? Plus, you want to look youthful. You want to nourish and lubricate your organs. Your skin is the biggest organ in your body. Your muscles and your joints are the mobility and everything that keeps you going strong and living life to your best requires you to stay hydrated. Get a cute water bottle, for crying out loud, if that's gonna remind you to bring it to the gym and to drink out of it. Get a cute hydro flask. I mean, they have 
like color coordinated ones, sparkly ones. Get whatever one that you're gonna love to carry around if it's gonna help you to drink it up. Drink it up, buttercup. Drink it up, buttercup. I'm telling you, this is important and it has to be said. As a beginner or somebody getting back into your fitness workout lifestyle, it is more important for you to focus on two things. Okay, number one, that's working out movement consistently. Number two, that's adding in and choosing to eat healthier food. That is it. Focus on that. Why? Because simplicity equals consistency. So often when people are starting out, they're so excited and fired up and they're getting all this information for all these people. Do this. Do fast workout, take this supplement, try this workout, do this, that, and everything else. And you're just like, oh, what do I do? I want to do it all. Sister, friend, duh. That is unnecessary. In the beginning, you don't need to worry about supplements. No. Fasting or keto or none of that. No. You don't need to be trying to do some crazy wild exercise that you saw on Instagram. No. You just need to focus on working out, eating healthy, don't focus on anything else. That's not to say that further down the road, when you have more experience and you feel more comfortable and your training is on a different level, that you can start to incorporate other methods, right? But you can, you can add those other methods into your training regimen when you are further experienced and your training is on another level. But until then, keep it simple, my friend, and just focus on working out three times a week, full body workouts, and eating healthier and incorporating healthier, nutritious food. That's it. And water. Water, water, water. Lastly, do not give up on yourself. Stay consistent. Don't give up. I believe in you, trust me, the more consistent you are, the more momentum you will build, the more comfortable you will feel, and the more confident you will get. I'm so proud of you. I love you guys, you are amazing. Have a beautiful day. Be sure to like, comment down below, come say hi. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos from your girl. And until the next time, I love you. Bye.